here we are. As you heard today, we're gonna talk about Christina. I always wonder why people hate her. Because she was original back then when she got famous. Uh, because she used so many restaurants. Uh, because she loves soul and sometimes she sings blues and people think that she pretends to be an old soul diva or something and they hate that. And I, I just don't understand why people hate her. Yes, she's not a very technical singer. That doesn't mean she's not good. She sounds great. What I figure out while I'm watching her sing on stage and blah 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 is that some vocal coaches on YouTube, I, I saw that already, they say it's from here, the raspiness. is like you say, uh, uh, uh. But no, it's not that. It's not It's not that. It's more from here. It's not from here, but from here. You see? So you just... Uh, um, you see? Mm, eh. What is typical for her is also that she keeps her mouth like that and not like that or just normal like some singers do. And you go... Um, because um, in my previous video I said what they want to always would do. Can bring me down, but I could would go. Can bring me down, oh, oh. and she would like train. Anyway, how to get more of her style into yours is that you have to sing with a lot of runs and riffs, and you have to listen to her a lot to get to get that. Uh, so she would go. If you don't, let me know what you're feeling, yeah. So you say, what you're feeling, yeah. She wouldn't go, what you're feeling. You have to be really careful when you try to sing her songs because some people sing them as if Christina is a pure singer, but she isn't. So she would go, um, how can I give you all my love? And with mouth like that, baby, oh, mm -mm. you see? But not, how can I give you all my love? Also, if you want a very Christina Aguilera signature, you have to trick people into thinking that you can use vibrato on high notes. Maybe you can't, but you don't do it that often. Uh, how to do it is you try to use vibrato on low notes, and when you sing high notes, I'm gonna show you how to do to do it. You know that performance of Atlas? She would go. Mm. <sighs> screams but I can't scream because I actually live in an apartment so I have neighbors that would knock in the wall so they would say oh please stop we are living here we're sharing this building together so I can't scream uh, as loud as her uh, I used to when I lived uh, when I was home back in my country anyway uh, so she put it for you on mine. You see, I. You see, that's not vibrato. That's just I. You see, I. You move like you, you move your lips like this. Okay. One advice that I think is very important when you try to sing like Christina Aguilera, don't try to uh, stand in the same place and sing like, I don't know, some Leona Lewis and very softly and uh, you barely move your head. It's really, you have to like be more dynamic and that helps the voice too. So she goes, my heart and I were buried in dust. And I don't know, she, she moves and when she screams, uh, yeah, you know that. <laughs> when it goes like that. I mean, try it home, you will see that when you don't move, even your voice sounds uh, closed up from the loop. 
actually was on stage once and singing this song, um, Bleeding Love of Leona Lewis. And oh my god, I, I messed up so hard. Like, I couldn't move, I was shaking and I, I just couldn't leave the song and I was like, uh, I'm hard not to hear but they talk so loud. Like some exercise of your body like warms up and you just go, um, I don't know, that would be the one I do is, uh, trying hard not to hear but they talk so loud, the piercing sounds fill my ears. You see? So it looks like, uh, it's not trying hard not to hear but they I feel so strange, everything about me seems to have changed 